Hi, I'm Scott Davis. Welcome to New World Birth. By accessing this presentation, you're inviting me to share this information regarding this challenging yet very hopeful time we're currently living in. Uh, this is the report for February 24th, 2011, uh, which is one Jaguar in the Mayan Zolkin calendar. Uh, Jaguar is the primal spiritual force that inhabits all of us. This 13-day uh, cycle is about exposing our dark spots to the light and being transformed. This is a time to release fear so that we can be in our intuition. This is a time to celebrate our alignment with the cosmic plan in preparation for the universal cycle that begins March 9, 2011. And this is also a time to turn our attention and our actions to taking better care of our planet and our bodies. One of the astrological transits during this 13-day cycle is Saturn is retrograde in Libra squaring the sun, asking us to lay down the burdens that are holding us back from shining as our authentic selves. This is a time to let go of the baggage that could impede uh, our passage through the eye of the needle. On March 4th, we have the sun, moon, Mercury, Mars, and Uranus are all in Pisces, the final astrological sign. Uh, this all happens before the opening of the universal cycle on March 9th and the beginning of the 9th wave. The astrology of the opening of the universal cycle is intense with Mercury joining Uranus as they both move into Aries. This time period will have a palpable shift as we begin the 9th wave, but that's uh, information for the next report. I'm going to include human design in these reports. And from a human design perspective, we have the North Node in the I Ching hexagram 10 treading and Saturn in the hexagram 57, the gentle, which makes the channel of the perfected form, which is about survival. But it's not just about the survival of the physical form, it's also about the survival of our integrity. When I think about all these systems in relation to the Mayan calendar, I keep hearing how important it is to be in our authentic self. We all chose to incarnate on this planet during this period of time. We are here during an amazing opening for consciousness and we are experiencing a once in many lifetimes opportunity uh, and it seems to me the best way to get the most out of this opening is by being in our true authentic selves. Playing small does not serve the world. This time period will be the final tricenter or 13 day period before the opening of the ninth wave which is also called the Universal Cycle in Carl Coleman's description of the Mayan Tune Calendar. For more information about the Mayan Calendar, go to treealifecelebration.com. Uh, uh, on there you'll find that in many parts of the world there'll be tree planting ceremonies to commemorate the March 9th uh, opening of the Universal Cycle. Where I live, there's still a lot of snow on the ground, so we're planning on celebrating by writing down our intentions for the ninth wave and tying them to a ceremonial tree while offering prayers and meditations. As I've stated in past reports, the universal cycle represents the greatest opening for consciousness since the Big Bang created our universe. I believe that the more people who understand what we are experiencing now and how long it will last, the better off we'll be. Uh, uh, <clears throat> each stage uh, during the universal cycle uh, last 18 days and a friend of mine pointed out that the most recent revolution that ended at the beginning of the new Zol King round lasted only eight days which is the equivalent amount of time of one of these stages in the upcoming universal cycle. The universal cycle has the purpose of moving our consciousness to a place of co-creation and unity consciousness. Uh, this will be a time of new balance a return to the feminine, a balance of east and west, a balance of action and receptivity, uh, a balance of left and right mindedness. We'll all experience more possibilities and according to the teachings of Barbara Han Clow, we'll experience the opening of nine dimensions of consciousness. For me, uh, for me, this time period is about taking better care of myself physically and emotionally and making my spiritual practices a priority. On October 28, 2011, all nine levels of the Tune calendar come to completion, but this is not the end of the Mayan calendar. The Maya have noted dates a long way into the future. The completion of the Tune calendar 
is about the birth of a new world age. The universal cycle is like the intensity of the birthing process uh, after a 16.4 billion year pregnancy. So when you get the opportunity, get rest, get regular exercise, become more grounded as we enter this time period where creation is moving 20 times faster. As many of you know, our thoughts and our emotions create our lives, so it's important to practice mindfulness and meditation. I would encourage you to make the time now to take better care of yourself. Make time to love yourself and those around you. On March 6th, uh, I'll be offering a workshop in Madison, uh, New Hampshire at the White Mountain uh, Hypnosis Center. Uh, it starts around 6 o'clock. The workshop will uh, cover the background information upon which all these reports are, are, are based, but it will also go into great depth about each of these uh, 13 stages of the days and nights as they relate to the universal cycle. Um, so I'd encourage you to uh, come to the White Mountain Hypnosis Center in Madison, New Hampshire if you're in the neighborhood on March 6th at 6 p.m. Uh, uh, other than that, uh, I'm really grateful that you've connected with, uh, with the New World Birth uh, Prenatal Care for the Birth of a New World, world Age uh, series of uh, videos. Um, uh, they're available on Facebook, on the New World Birth uh, page on Facebook, also on New World Birth on YouTube. Uh, please feel free to contact me at newworldbirth at yahoo.com. Um, and, and share these with other people. I really feel that this is important information for everybody to uh, connect with. Um, and as I've said before, uh, much gratitude to you. Thanks for, for connecting with this. Uh, the light in me honors the light in you. Namaste.